and welcome to a weekday vlog. I was planning to film this weekend, it's my first weekend back from vacation, but school kind of took me by surprise. <laughs> I thought I had done pretty well about prepping before I left because I was going to miss the first two days, which are two days off that I was planning to use for school for future weeks, but I missed the first two days of school this week because I was traveling. So. I had prepped beforehand but then didn't realize how much time it was going to take to write some papers this weekend. So I was just kind of grumbly and didn't feel like in the best of mood to be filming. And so I thought maybe I'll just do a Monday, Tuesday vlog and I think that's what I may have to do in the future because weekends are really dedicated to finished papers that are due for the week. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do, which actually works out better for me because things are a lot slower on the weekdays so I can do like the wineries and I can do the zoo and I can do like all these other things that won't have as many people there and also usually I can use like a Groupon or there's some sale or some discount because it's a weekday versus a weekend so I'm excited to do some more things um, but I also just really needed this morning to just like reset I feel like this past week has been really stressful because I knew there's a ton of schoolwork to do and I was just, I, I thought I was prepared, like I, I had done all the reading before I even left for vacation, but it just was a lot more than I, I was expecting. Although I should have known better because in when I was doing my undergraduate, I remember just the first two weeks was always so intensive for research. But then the following like six or seven weeks was pretty much like I had done all the work. I just had to like write the papers. So I think that's what it was this time. It's just I needed to figure out what I was doing for my final projects to get all the research together. And then hopefully I got all the big pieces out of the way. So that way in the future, it'll be a lot easier to write. So that's my plan. <laughs> um, I do. So let's just go over what my plans are for today. So again, it's going to be Monday and Tuesday vlogs. I kind of like today is kind of like an admin day where I just have like a lot of stuff to do, like little tasks and chores that I've been putting off for the past week. And I really need to start doing them and checking them off because they're just accumulating at this point. And I really just need to take, it's not like a lot of them only take me like a few minutes, but I've just been like putting them off. So I have a to-do list. And I have some fun things to do today too. So I need to do just like basic chore stuff. So I really wanna get back into like my regular habits. So I'm need to, since today's Monday, I'm going to clean the living room for 30 minutes. So I need to clean up my car because it is atrocious right now. I still need to edit a vlog. I really wanna to film today some type of puzzle video. And I am actually gonna go out to lunch with one of my friends. She was the one who was watching the kitties, so we're just gonna get together and we're going to a winery, so I'll probably film a little bit about that. Um, I just have some errands to do, like I need to go to the post office, I need to go to Target to get some litter, and just some random small tasks that hopefully I'll get done mostly this morning. I do have my green smoothie, which it's really easy to make and I'm really annoyed because my Nutribullet just broke and so I had to use the blender and the blender just takes so long and it doesn't get as smooth as my Nutribullet did. Plus, it's a real pain in the butt to clean. So I'm gonna drink my smoothie and then I'm going to think of some other fun things to do for the next couple days, but honestly, sitting down and puzzling just sounds like such a stress relief. So I think I will have to put that on the docket for the next two days. So I just need to get some tasks out of the way just so my to-do list isn't as lengthy and I'll just feel a lot less stressed and then I'm going to figure out some fun things. So that's our plan. Um, I, and I promise I won't show you my morning routine every single time but today was one of those days where I just I needed it to happen because I felt like the past week I've just been like crazy and I've just been getting more and more stressed and I think the habits that I was putting into place before vacation kind of like flew out the window. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and already I'm feeling so much better.
I just got to Tuesday morning. And if you don't have one near where you are, because I never grew up with one, it's kind of like, it, it's one of those places where you have to get it if you like it because it's not going to be there again. Hopefully if they have puzzles, if not, I'm just going to look at their home stuff because it's just a fun store to look in. And we're just going to check it out. I did have lunch with my friend Anita. It was a really fun time. Uh, we had lunch and some wine and I did pick up my bottles, which I have a lot of bottles of wine now, which I did already, but I'll show you what I got when I get home. I'll do like a big massive haul of the day. Let you guys know what I did. So let's go into Tuesday morning. Not sure if I'm going to film in there, but hopefully I can find a few fun things, maybe some puzzles, but not, not holding my breath. <music> home I just had dinner and I just want to show you all the stuff that I got today um, I feel like I got quite a few things I went to Target earlier this morning I have some wine that I'll show you what I got um, then I have Tuesday mornings and then at home I really just wanted some fall decor some cute little things and I've already mentioned that I'm just trying to make this house feel a little more homey so let's just go I guess in the order that I went We'll do that. So I have had crazy fall vibes, especially when I went into every store because there are so many fall items. It follows my favorite season. So I was excited. I got a few decor pieces last year, but I really didn't have too much. So I'm just like adding on to last year's, which is cool. Um, but the first thing I got were these candlestick. This was in the Magnolia section and there are three, came in a set. And I just thought they would be so versatile. And I really have a lot of this type of brushed gold in the home. So that that would be really cute on the mantle. And then I also got this cute little pumpkin. So I've been slowly adding on to the pumpkins. I, actually, I did have a couple of pumpkins from the previous year. Not last year, but the year before last. Um, so here's a this year's pumpkin, which is super cute. It's like this grass woven pumpkin and I love it so much. I love the texture of it. I like it. it's more like a natural looking finish. And so I thought this would be cute because a lot of the other ones I have are like ceramic. So I liked having like this more, I don't know, neutral option. And then I found this and it says fall is my favorite. And I think I might put it on the front entryway table. So I thought this was cute or maybe I'll hang it up there eat two a couple options but this was only three dollars at the target dollar spot so that's pretty awesome next we went to winery so we are members of this one so i went to pick up my bottles but they also had some seasonal flavors that dave wanted to try and so let's just go over all the bottles that i got so the first one i have is one of our favorites. It's the Sweet Chardonnay. Um, it's not super, super sweet like a Muscat, but it's not as like buttery or tart as a Chardonnay. So 
That one we really enjoyed. Not like you're going to come out here and drink wine, but I guess this shows you the wines that I like. And then we have a Muscat Canelli, which is, again, not as sweet as some Muscats can be. That sound like some of them are like you're straight up drinking juice. This one has a little bit more of that like wine flavor, but it's, I don't know all the notes. I just know that it's definitely more tolerable than some other Muscats that I've, I've had before. Uh, we also have this one, which is, oh my gosh. So that is super exciting. Uh, I didn't hear the ones that she told were going to be part of our membership this time. This one I actually had as part of my tasting and I was like, oh my gosh, I think this might be my new favorite because it's really light. It is part of the Riesling family. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's part of the Riesling family, but it's not as sweet and it's not as heavy. Like it's a very light, it was light in color, just really light and sweet. It was really nice. It's called, <laughs> we'll just put that one down. <laughs> And then the other one that is part of our membership, because we get two every two months, um, is their Cuvée Rouge. Oh, which I have had before. So it's like their sweet sparkling red. So we will have that eventually. I think this will officially mean that my wine fridge is completely full. And then I got two of each of the seasonal ones. We have the... A kiss of gingerbread. So they actually do these like chocolate wines. That's what this winery is known for. I think they're fine. Dave really loves them. And some of them are milk based and some of them are more wine. Um, so we, they have like kiss of chocolate, uh, kiss of coffee, kiss of mint. They have a strawberry chocolate and now they're just branching out. And then they have milk chocolate. And now they have seasonal ones which is kiss of gingerbread which actually does sound really good but look how white it is normally they're made with their red wines but these one this one's like very pale so i'm wondering if they used white instead i don't know this one's very interesting to me and i feel like i'd like it more than the chocolatey ones the last set is the other seasonal one which is called a kiss of pumpkin spice this one, I don't know how it'll be, same with the gingerbread one, but they're fun novelty items that are really good for gifts. So that, oh, th so those are the wines that I got. I'm really excited about all of them, actually. There are some good ones. This one, I haven't had in a really long time, so I'm not sure if I like it, but the other ones will be a good time. Now moving on to Tuesday mornings, I'm not going to show the puzzles in this one, I'm so sorry. But I will do a puzzle haul because I have some other puzzles coming, so I'm just going to do a puzzle haul because those are like my most watched videos, so, and there's a lot of them, so I think it will just be better because then this video would be extremely longer than it is. So the th few homey things that I got from there, let's see, the first, oh this is the first thing that I picked up when I got in there. And that place was way more, it was very cute. It was more of a price than I was expecting, but the puzzles were decently priced. So I feel like the, the cute, trendy home decor was actually more expensive than most other stores. So I don't remember that with the other places that I've gone for those locations, but I don't know if each one's different. Um, but this guy here is a little Halloween decoration. It's just like a skull with a crow on a couple books and I just thought it was really cute. Um, thought it would be good for like my bookcase and I liked him. He, he, he was, I have this thing when I'm shopping like I have to like touch things and this one like had good vibes. So I thought it was super cute. I don't have a ton of Halloween decorations. It's just a holiday that I've never really decorated for but I like grabbing like one or two things every single year to slowly grow my collection. And then I did just get these guys, which is the towel set that says Hocus Pocus, and then just a gray. I think I may have a fall set already, so I just grabbed some Halloween ones. Oh, and I got this pillow there, which I thought was super sweet. I like that it was like fall, so you can really use it for like a longer time than Halloween. I think that's maybe what it is. It's this, like Halloween is such a short like week that you celebrate where fall is like three months, you know. Um, so this one is a cute pillow, which I really like. It says, I love fall. And as I've mentioned, these two over here are going to retire. I do have a cover for this one that's actually like fall and Halloween. Like it's like flip-flops. So I think that will be fine. So I think I'm just going to replace 
this big fluffy one that's like very, it's dying. Um, so this would, oh look at, look at the colors. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now finally we have at home, that was the first time going in there, very overwhelmed. Um, I didn't get too much, but I will show you what I got. Anyways, first thing I got was a set of curtains for the kitchen. The ones we got were just like super, super thin. And we have our garden up, which is very bright, and it like goes like all throughout the day and at night. So we just thought it'd be good for the neighbors to not have our garden shining through the curtains. So we got I got these ones, which are so I got these ones, which are blackout curtains. So that way the light stays in here and not like goes outside. Normally it's the other way around. Like you don't want the sun going into your house, but this is actually more for us to let the neighbors sleep while the garden is on. So. Just got these. It's a set of two, and it was $30. I thought that was pretty good. Um, they feel really nice and high quality, so I'm excited for these. I was looking at curtains at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, and they didn't have many options, and they were expensive. So I'm excited that this was definitely is like $15 a panel, which I think is a lot more reasonable than a lot of other places that I've looked. Um, I also just got, it actually works so perfect. It's the same color as the ones that were there. I also got a new sign holder. I love these little things. These guys, I have one already over there, um, but this one I thought would be cute on my, actually I think I'll put that one that's on the end table in my studio area and then this will go there. I think that just works better like color wise, but I liked it. I'm, I'll switch out the this guy. Um, I have a few fall ones also. I think tomorrow I'm actually going to just like take all the fall stuff decorate, clean the living room, clean the kitchen, and just make this feel, place feel homey. That sounds really fun. So we'll do it like a decorate with me type of thing. Uh, next we have this guy. Oh my gosh, I love him. So this is a, a little Halloween decoration. They had a ton of different options to choose from. He was only $3.99. I feel like I could have probably gotten him a little bit cheaper at like Dollar Tree, but this is what he looks like. It's like this little rat dude but it's just a skeleton, <laughs> and I think it's cool. I don't know, I thought it was a different, I got a keep just a couple Halloween things, and it just makes me happy. Um, most of my fall decor already, or at least some of my fall decor already, I feel like each year I get like a woodland creature. So I got another little, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, I don't know if he's a hedgehog or a porcupine, but he is so freaking cute. Isn't he cute? So I mixed, he was $9.99, a bit pricier, but I was just like, I instantly was like, oh, I love him. Oh, this with the pumpkin. Like, I love this vibe together. Um, but I loved it. It has like little pine cones and these like wooden bits. It just made me happy. And you'll see some other woodland creatures that I also have. I know I have a squirrel and I have an owl and a, um, a fox. I know I have a fox. Uh, we also got some candles for the candle holders that I got earlier, and I got these ones. Look, should, like, look at these colors. So I was like, should I do all the same? But then I was like, oh, maybe I want to like, I don't know, switch it up sometime. Plus, like these colors could use like I can use these in spring and summer. These could be used in spring and summer, you know. So I got these, and we'll we'll play around with them. This is a very new concept to me, but. I've always felt when I was decorating the mantle that I need something with height. So I think this is going to be working out well. Yeah, anyways, I'm just going to sign off here and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So it is Tuesday and I really am just doing a stay at home day. I am going to do like a decorate with me, clean with me type situation. I want to do a puzzle and then I'll probably do some other things like schoolwork and such that I probably won't vlog about, but I thought maybe you would like to get into the fall spirit. Maybe you're trying to get back in, maybe you're just trying to take in all the rest of summer. I'm kind of over the 100 degrees every single day. I love fall so much. So I'm just going to decorate the house, clean the living room. I'll show you what I'm working with. The living room is actually quite messy, especially since yesterday. I pretty much filmed that last clip and went to bed. So um, I did pull out, I did pull out the whole tote of, it's only like half full, of fall and Halloween decor. And the Halloween stuff I won't pull out, but there are 
some fall things that I'll take out and put around the house. There are a couple, I knew I did have some, but we have a few pillows, so I'm, there's stuff in them because that's how I packed it. Uh, so I'm going to see what I can come up with. It would be nice to clean the living room, like a good thorough clean. And yeah, that's, that's my plan today. Oh, also I want to mention, so if you missed our Q&A, then you missed that we are not renewing our Disney passes. And for us, it's a big deal because we've had them since 2014, since we moved out here. That was like my one stipulation when we moved to California. It was like, I wanted Disneyland passes. And we have always made the most of it. And we've gone plenty of times for it to like pay for itself. But the new restructuring and all the kind of politics around it, we're just kind of over Disney, so we will probably still go a few times a year, but it wouldn't have been enough for us to pay for like the membership that we wanted. So instead, I purchased a annual pass to Universal. It's a little bit further away. It's about an hour and a half away from our house versus the hour from Disney, but it would still be a great thing to do on like a weekend when we don't have anything to do. There's a lot of extra perks to it, which was excluded from the Disneyland passes, like of the equivalent nature. Um, and we get to, it was, I'm just excited. So I only got it for me for now. And then we'll see if we want to have Dave do it as well. My goal is to at least go five times before he comes back because that kind of like pays for itself. Gives me something to do. And yeah, that's, that's what I planned. So next week, actually, I am going to go for my first time and see how it is. I've never been to the Universal Studios in Hollywood. I, I will only have ever done the one in Orlando. So it actually has been since our honeymoon that we even went to that one. And that was when uh, Harry Potter had just opened up and it wasn't even its own park yet. It was like still a part of Adventure, I think it was. Um, so it has been a while and I'm excited. So I'm just excited to go to the Hogwarts area. I'm definitely a Harry Potter fan and I know that they have like I remember loving the butterbeer so I I'm excited to try it out and see how it is something new and that that's what I'm at right now so let's go ahead and clean the living room I will show you what it's looking like right now it's definitely the messiest it's been in a really long time so here it is now it doesn't look too too bad. There's some stuff over at the door. I'm not really going to focus on that corner, um, but we have just like books I dropped. Didn't really actually make it into the house. Um, we have some stuff underneath the coffee table and then over here is where I was filming last night and so I just have a lot of stuff to put away. And then as I mentioned, I do have this tote of fall decor, fall and Halloween. So I'm going to pull out the fall stuff and put it out.
so I didn't actually check back with you, but I pretty much spent all the day doing the Magnolia puzzle, and I have to say, I love it. So you'll probably see this, actually you'll probably see the Magnolia puzzle before this vlog, so I'll leave it down below. I actually had to go move my car, they're doing like a big road project, so I need to go do some things outside. But I'm just going to sign off here. I know that it wasn't like the craziest exciting weekend, but I'm excited for next week because I'll be going to Universal and maybe we can do some other things. Um, I think it's just taking me a little bit to adjust to being... So I think it's just going to take me a few to adjust to being back in school and like my new schedule. So yeah, anyways. Oh my gosh, you have to see this boy. He's the cutest. Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Bye.